guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a New Year's Eve look for you guys. I love the way that this look turned out. I was going for more of a look that like the everyday girl could accomplish. I didn't want to do a super dark like crazy black shadow kind of a look because I feel like the everyday average girl wouldn't really be able to do that or maybe wouldn't want to do that. So I kept this one a little bit more natural than I normally would for a New Year's Eve look, but I feel like it's a good thing because other people can try to recreate this look and it's still kind of natural, but it has like the fun pop of gold on the lid and then it has the fun pink lip and the beaming highlight. So I just think that this is a super fun look for New Year's Eve. Okay, and then instead of reading a Bible verse to you guys today, I actually wanted to share with you a song or like even an album that I have been loving recently. I know that Christmas is over, but I absolutely love the album um, The Peace Project by Hillsong Worship. This is what the album cover looks like. It's kind of like orange. Anyways, so the lyric that I wanted to read you guys is from the song Seasons, and this is one of their new songs from this album, and this song is just so incredible to me. I absolutely love it, and it really speaks to me whenever I listen to it, so I listen to it like all the time on repeat. So first part that I love about it is it says, though the winter is long, even richer the harvest it brings um, and I think that's really awesome because sometimes we go through a season that seems like a really long winter a really long time where we are just cold and just like kind of alone and maybe even sad um, but in this in this like lyric it's saying that even richer the harvest it brings so like the tough times that you go through like the longer and the harder they are sometimes the richer and the better the like harvest and the happiness and joy that it brings afterwards um, another one that I love from this, it says, um, I believe that my season will come. And I think that is so important because even for me, um, I see a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers getting blown up like crazy, getting famous super fast for makeup. And it's really hard being someone that puts so much effort and so much time and just like I put everything into this um, and it's hard not getting recognized sometimes. And I'm sure other people feel that too. I'm sure it's not just me, but that like one phrase right there, I believe that my season will come. I seriously like just declare that whenever I hear this song, because I truly believe that like this is a season in those people's lives this is their season to shine this is their season where God is lifting them up and just giving them that like almost I guess fame um, or platform that they're wanting um, and I believe that my season will come I believe that even if it's five years or ten years down the road that season is gonna come for me and so I really really love that lyric and then the last one that I absolutely love this might be my favorite one it says and if you're not done working then God I'm not done waiting and I think that that is so freaking powerful I think sometimes it is easy for us to forget that God is working in your life he's working at all times he's planning amazing things and we we get a little caught up in wanting things right now especially with our generation I'm just like I want everything right this second and I think that's really important to sometimes just stop and think God is in the works he is doing something and if he's working then I'm gonna keep waiting I'm gonna keep waiting for the promises that he has for me for the amazing things that he has planned for my future so all of those lyrics I just really love them and I think that they are really important for us to remember if you're new to my channel don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram my name is at Malone MUA just like here on YouTube and I'm almost done with the 100 days of makeup challenge so make sure you go over to my Instagram and join me for the last final days of this challenge also don't forget to subscribe to my channel be my friend subscribe to my channel until the end subscribe okay guys and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this super bomb easy to do glam glitz pop bright <laughs> new year's eve look Alrighty, so as you can see, I already have my face done, I have my eyebrows done as well, and I have mascara on because it's actually like 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so I've already gone and done some errands today, so I wanted to throw a little mascara on for the day, but we are just going to ignore that and just go right over the top of it and do my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, lashes, all that. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be going in with eyeshadow, of course. Okay, and then the first brush that I'm going to be going in with is a Morphe M411. It's just a really nice fluffy brush for the crease. And I'm going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette today. So y'all know what that looks like, so I'm not about to show you. 
but I'm gonna be going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. The first thing that I'm gonna be going in with is just a nice transition color. I will put like on the screen with all the names of, oh no, mm -mm. I will put the names of each shadow that I'm using on the screen so you guys know which shadows I'm using. But first, I'm just going to go in with a transition shade. And I am just going to start buffing this right into the crease of my eye. Just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Okay, so now that we have that transition shade down, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush, and I'm just going to take this in the crease as well with a shade that's a little bit deeper, um, and this one has kind of a little bit of a red tone to it. So I'm just going to take that right into the crease and start buffing that really lightly right into the crease of my eye. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a Sigma Blending E25 brush. It just looks like this. I love this brush. It's one of my favorite ones of all time. And I'm just gonna be dipping into a nice deep chocolate brown shade. And I'm gonna focus that on the outer corner of my eye and just kind of tap it onto the outer corner. And then I'm gonna lightly just blend it right into the crease of my eye as well. And then I'm going back in with that red shade on that Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush, which looks like this. And I'm just gonna go right over the edges with just a little bit more shadow, just to make sure that everything is nice and blended. And then I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe M411, and I'm just gonna go right at the very edge of that shadow. And I'm just barely touching my lid. I'm not really pushing very hard. I'm just lightly, lightly touching just to lightly blend out that crease and make sure that it's really blown out. Okay, so next up, I'm just gonna be going in with my MAC Select Cover Up, and this is in NW15, and I'm gonna be using this to cut the crease. So what I do is I just take a little bit of it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go in with a Sigma Cream Color E58 brush, which is just a flat synthetic brush, which is really good for cutting that crease. Okay, so I only cut the crease about to this part of my eye. I didn't bring it all the way around because I am gonna go in with a dark brown shadow on the outer corn of my, corn, corn, corn? I am gonna go in with a dark brown shadow on the outer corner of my eye so I can leave that spot blank for now. Okay, and then to set that concealer, I'm just gonna be going in with a Sigma Large Shader E60 brush and I'm gonna be taking the bright white shadow from the palette and I am just going to tap that on top of the concealer to set it. Okay, so now that I have that concealer set down, I'm just gonna go back in with the Sigma Blending E25 brush, and I'm gonna tip into that same chocolatey brown that we used, and I am just going to tap that onto the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so now that we have that part of the shadow done, I'm just gonna be going in with the Dazzle Eyes palette. This is a, just a little glitter palette that I got online. It has four different glitters, and the nice thing is that you don't have to use a glitter glue with this. You can just dip your finger into whatever shade you wanna use and put it on your eye, and it will stay all day. I absolutely love these. I think they are a great formula, but they took forever. When I ordered them, it took like three months for them to get to me, which was super annoying. But I decided I wanted to throw a little bit of glitter on the center of my lid, um, just as like a fun pop, because you know, for New Year's Eve, you wanna have glitter, like who doesn't wear glitter eyeshadow on New Year's Eve? So I'm gonna be going in with the shade right here, and this is like a cool toned gold kind of color. As you can see, this is like a yellow and orange and a brownish tone. Um, so I wanted to go in with more of this like cool toned gold. And I'm just gonna take that on the center of my finger and just like dip into it a little bit. And then I'm just going to press that into the center of my lid. Okay, so now you can see it goes from a bright white on the inner corner to gold glitter in the middle and then to that smoked out brown shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the next eye and then we will go ahead and put on some eyeliner. Okay, so now that the glitter is on the center of our lids, I'm just gonna go in with eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners, especially when I am doing a wing. So I'm just gonna go in with that and I'm gonna use a little Sigma brush to do this. And this is the Sigma Winged Liner E06 brush. You can barely see it because it's so small which is 
which is exactly what you want for a winged liner. The smaller the brush, the easier it is to control and get that perfect wing. So I'm just gonna dip into that Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm just going to do a wing on my eye. Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner done, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in and do some eyeshadow underneath my eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with that Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush, and I'm gonna dip into that kind of reddish tone that we used, and I'm just gonna smoke this out underneath my eye. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with a Sigma Smudge E21 brush, which is just a very small little baby brush, and I'm gonna go in with the black shade from that Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just going to smoke this underneath my eye as well, and I'm gonna connect it to that liner that we have on the top of our lid. Now we're just gonna go in with our Smashbox X-rated mascara, and I'm just going to quickly coat my lashes using this. Okay, so as you can see, I got mascara on the inner part of my eye. So the best thing to do when this happens is to wait for the mascara to dry. So wait a few minutes, let it dry, and then all you have to do is go in with a Q-tip and it should come right off. Little life hack for ya. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eye and my brow bone, and I'm gonna be using the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. This is my favorite brush to do this. I'm just gonna be taking the lightest shade in that Jaclyn Hill palette, which is the same, like the same shade that we packed on the inner corner of our eye. And I'm just going to put this right on that brow bone. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be going in with the Coco Lashes, and these are in the style Baby G. They are a really pretty, like, short to long cat eye lash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those all soaked up with lash glue, let them dry for a few minutes, and then I'm going to pop them on my eyes. Okay, cool, so lashes are on. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and do my lips. I also, just so you know, I also lined my waterline with black gel liner, that same Maybelline one that we used on our wing. Um, I just wanted to deepen up the eyes a little bit and give them a little bit more depth. So I went ahead and did that. So now for lips, I want to do like a bright pink fun color because I feel like on New Year's Eve, you can get away with wearing like super bright lipsticks. You can do super bright eyeliners or whatever kind of crazy look, like whatever type of glitter, like you can do kind of whatever you want on New Year's Eve. So I wanted to go in with a bright lip today. So I'm going to be going in, this is actually a Wet n Wild um, lipstick, which I haven't used one in a long time, but I absolutely adore the formula of a Wet n Wild lipstick. I think they are so incredible, um, and they have such great pigmentation, they stay on all day, they're honestly so, so nice, and I think they're only like 2 or $3, which is an absolute steal. So this one, I actually don't even know what shade this is in, because it doesn't even say on the bottom, but it's just like this super really prink, really prink pretty, prink prink. It's just a super pretty pink color, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my lips. Okay, so I really like that color and how it looks, but I think I want to go in with a little bit more papayam wasam. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in Weekend Barbie. This is just a super pretty deep fuchsia sparkly shade and I'm just gonna go right over the top of that lipstick that we just put down. Yes. Okay, so that just deepened the lips a little bit, gave them a little bit more of a deep pink kind of feel, which I love, I'm living for it. I think that this look turned out super beautiful. Loving the glitter, loving the pink lips. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last step, of course, is to set my face. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and I am just going to set this face so it stays all night through New Year's Eve when I am dancing the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Alrighty guys, and that is all I have for you for this video. I hope that you guys love the way that this look turned out. I for one am absolutely living for it. I love that it's still somewhat natural, but glam and like has this fun pop of color and everything at the same time. I just, I love it and I think it's perfect for an average girl that just wants to get a little bit more fancy and a little more bomb with her makeup on New Year's Eve. So if you guys do try to recreate this look, please don't forget to tag me in it. I would love to see your guys' recreations. Other than that, have so much fun on New Year's Eve. Be safe. Don't be too crazy. Spend with your loved ones. Don't focus on getting a smooch at the end of the night because sometimes you just gotta smooch your cat and move on. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for supporting me and loving me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.